there. Um, it's good to be back. We have been away, as a lot of you might know, for a few weeks. And uh, it's been the most terrible few weeks that we faced here in India. Uh, apart from the COVID, of course, there was Taute and now Yas is on its way. And um, neither Amit nor I were really in the mood to sort of uh, do anything, uh, you know, what we considered frivolous. But it isn't really frivolous because eating is uh, important to surviving and um, especially for COVID patients, it's very important that you eat well and you keep your protein levels up and you hydrate well and you stay positive mentally and uh, do your best to get well as soon as you can. So let's get on with today's episode. Um, we've got something very special for you from Bengal. This is uh, at the request at the behest of Mr. Mehra, my Punjab the Putter. And he actually uh, got me the ingredients uh, on his own without really telling me. So we thought we'd make a nice special episode out of it and share it with all of you. We hope you missed us because we've certainly missed you. So let's get on with Machir Paturi. Machir Paturi sounds very complicated, but it's actually one of the most simple things to make. Like all Bengali foods, um, it's very simple. It's barely uh, two ingredients or three ingredients. So basically you have fish and uh, I'm using Ardmach today, which is uh, from the catfish family. It's a nice fleshy fish with barely one bone in the middle, as you can see. And it is also an oily fish, so it lends itself very well to uh, dishes that don't require too much oil to cook it. Um, so we have fish and we're going to be using some mustard, black and yellow. And we're going to be using some coconut. This has been done by Amit. Uh, we don't have that uh, thing to sort of take the nariel out of the coconut out of the shell so he did it with a knife and did a pretty good job of it I think and of course for the paturi uh, we use a banana leaf this will be fish wrapped in banana leaf so I'm sorry it's a bit of a sad banana leaf but uh, after Taute you know Taute killed all my plants my little baby tomato plant and my capsicum plant and my kadu my pumpkin plant and my gourd plant horrible tauti. The first thing I'm going to do is marinate the fish with a little salt and turmeric. Don't need too much, just a little. And even salt you don't need too much because there will be salt in the mustard paste as well. So just a bit and mix it up. While the fish is marinating, we are going to make the paste. Uh, with the coconut ideally I should grind all this separately but so about a quarter of a coconut and mustard so it's quite a bit of fish okay so Two tablespoons of the black mustard, equal quantity of the white, couple of green chilies. I'm putting more because we want it spicy hot and salt. The thing with grinding mustard, uh, this is something that our grandmothers and mothers have all taught us, is uh, that if you add a pinch of salt and a green chili, it doesn't get bitter. So that's why we add salt and green chili to the mustard. And uh, it actually tastes pretty good also. And I'll add a little water in this. It's 
done. If you don't have uh, mustard seeds or you're not sure of how to grind the mustard, um, there is a powder available nowadays, very conveniently. Um, I think it's called Sunrise, the brand. And uh, all you need to do is uh, soak it for around 10-15 minutes before you're cooking and then use that powder. So a lot of people I know living in the US and all actually, you know, get this the sachet is sort of sent to them from home. Okay, so now my paste is done. And I'm going to add it to this. And to this we will add about a tablespoon of or two tablespoons of mustard oil and mix it so this is the second marinade this doesn't need to stay for very long um, about half an hour or so is more than enough uh, because it will be you know cooking in that as well so you just need time for the uh, I guess the bite of the oil to get into the fish that green revolution that I started seems to be working because uh, Mehra's other request for the day was he wanted some greens so I have some steamed uh, spinach and all I'm going to do is uh, give it temper it with a little mustard oil and red chili and garlic that's it and that should be yummy I need to um, make the leaf a little more pliable so what I'm going to do is a lot of people um, sort of you know uh, run it over the heat on the gas what I'm doing is I'm going to uh, dip it in a little warm water If you don't have banana leaf, you can use uh, foil, aluminum foil to do this. Uh, but of course the leaf adds to the flavor of the fish. So it is an integral part of the recipe. But uh, foil is alright, foil is good. As they say in Bengal, every part of the banana tree is either eaten or eaten upon. So we eat the stem, it's a delicious uh, dish that happens. We eat the flower, which a lot of other people across the country do. And we eat the fruit of course, and the leaf we either eat upon or use to cook. Okay, so now I need to put a little oil on this. I know I'm sounding very confident while doing this, but uh, I'm actually pretty nervous and terrified. Um, this is the part where it's very easy to goof up because you need to, you know, figure out how to sort of wrap that banana leaf around the fish so that it doesn't crack up and break. And of course, if it does, no problem. We are going to use some toothpick to do this. Okay, mothers, bless me. Yeah, put a little of that. You do this as individual pieces so that um, you know, everybody gets the masala and the fish. But a lot of people do it all together as well. So, it's totally your choice. Stay. Thank you. Paturi comes out really well with prawns as well. I had made that once and I think that's what got Amit inspired to have Paturi. 
please don't tear, please don't tear. Do not tear. Stay. If you're growing turmeric in your house, you can also use turmeric leaves for this. That of course is amazing. It, the, the flavor is to die for. So now that these uh, little pouches of fish are ready, I'm going to be using this tawa. It's a nice thick tawa. And this is also the tawa on which my friend Rachel tried to teach me how to make dosas. And uh, I'm happy to say that I have learned. So I'm just going to put a little oil on this. I'm going with mustard oil because that is the oil that I have used in the fish as well. And of course mustard oil has a nice zing to it which you can't get in any other oil. You should try making salad with mustard oil as uh, a dressing instead of olive oil. And I'm going to be placing this on the fire. And I'm going to cover this. Put the fire slow so that it doesn't burn. And let it sit there for around 10 minutes or so. And then we'll come back to it. And while that is cooking, I will temper the spinach. Spinach couldn't get simpler than that, right? So it's been about 10 minutes and I'm going to turn these around. Even if uh, some of the masala spills over like it has over here, it actually comes out really tasty because uh, you know those fried bits of coconut and mustard is awesome. So it will stay like this for another 10 minutes. So it's been another 10 minutes while the fish has been cooking on the other side and uh, fish as you know cooks very fast so this should be done. Let's check it out. You know this masala that's stuck to the toothpick? That's really yummy to eat as well, so I'm not going to throw it away. Whoa, it's hot. And see, you can see the fish flaking off and breaking. I'm going to be tasting this now to see how it's actually come out. Before I do, I'm going to taste a little bit of that green revolution to 
make sure it's edible otherwise this tamara will kill me mm. should make this very healthy and very yummy that garlic just hits the right spot okay time for fish Oh, it's very hot. Get the masala. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm, I think I'm in heaven. This is so yummy. I really wish you guys could taste it. Do try making it because it is the ultimate and the simplest way you could possibly cook fish. As you can see, the fish is totally cooked. It's nice and flaky. It is absolutely to die for. And uh, as I said, barely uses two to three ingredients. Hmm. Perfect. So see you guys next week. And uh, I'm very hungry to get back to that lunch. So I'll make it quick. Please subscribe, that button's right there and remember to like and comment and let us know if you try this out.